Hello everyone, in this video we will do Happy Baby. So for Happy Baby we want to hold the ankles, we want the feet to look up into the ceiling and we want to feel a good stretch in this area. So the goal is to make sure that that knee can go towards the ground. However, there are some concerns or some things that I'd like us to be a bit more cautious. Remember that we should feel here. We should not feel it here in your groin. If you're starting to feel it in the groin, I prefer that we do that one. So for this one, we hold the ankles, the knees go towards the ground. And again, we want to feel a good stretch in here. A good option as well, if you feel that that exercise is a hard one for you to do, is to have some pillows. Try to have some pillows on the side and try to, in a way, almost sit on them. Try to have your ankles together and let your legs completely relax. So we want to make sure you're not feeling any pain on the lower back and you're really focusing on letting go here. Your pelvic floor should be trying, should be relaxed. Meaning, if you don't know if you're relaxing it, I want you to squeeze for three seconds and then let go and think about opening and widening your hips, letting go and blossoming at the entrance like a little flower and imagine that your whole legs are melting towards the ground. Keep it there for at least three minutes or you can just be there for 30 seconds if it's too strong. But ideally, try to just keep this position for three minutes. If you're doing happy baby, hold it for 30 seconds, then hug and just try to relax your lower back. Try to do it again three times. So remember, if you're just letting your body relax uh, with the pillows, hold it there for, 30, uh, for three minutes. If you're doing happy baby, or if you're doing the, the alternative to happy baby while holding, you can just do it for 30 That's seconds. Possible. And you want also to make sure that the exercise is always comfortable. If you have any questions, just contact us. And thank you so much.